give a fuck what anybody else thinks about it. Let's do this. How's it going, G Freaks and Sci Fi Fanatics? This is Daniel, the Sci Fi Century, always coming at you raw, always coming at you real. And I'm back with, um, not really, it's not really a review video. Actually, I just want to get caught up on everything that I'm like really behind in, especially figure reviews and movie reviews. And right now, what you see right in front of you, and if you saw my thumbnail, this is basically not a review, just more or less just some of the things and um, figures and films that I'll be doing some reviews on and one is a special request and basically I just I'm I'm like totally behind on doing uh, figure reviews and, and especially the Godzilla 2019 uh, burning Godzilla version from the film Godzilla King of the Monsters I'm really really late on that and everybody knows the people that scratch my channel and um, the people on social media that I just had surgery <clears throat> and I it really set me back a lot as far as um, creating content and making videos and this is basically what I'm gonna be working on and it's gonna take a while but I'm gonna try to get caught up on it and basically the one I'm really looking forward to that I'm gonna probably start working on as fast as I can is the Rodan and the War of the Gargantuas Toho Master Collection to this collector set and I've been trying to get started on that one for a while but like I said life comes at you kicks you in the ass and you gotta you gotta take time so that's what I'm doing and also the other film that you see there is of course the crow and that one's a special request by a good friend of mine Celeste and I'm gonna try to get that one done right after I'm done with the Rodan and the War of the Gargantuas uh, collector set video and I've been wanting to do the crow for a long time also and I'm gonna, also I'm expanding my my channel into all kinds of sci-fi and thrillers horror anime and I'm gonna just uh, see what I can work on little by little and what you see here as far as the figures I mean you already see the skull crawler GBK 2020 from the Godzilla vs. Kong film is going to come out 2021, hopefully. And there's behind it, there's the Tomashi Nations, Mobile Suit Gundam, Unicorn, Version 2, Banshee, which I'll also do a review on. I have it out of the box, but I still have the box, so that one I'll do a full review on it. And I just got the Gamera in like two and a half weeks ago, and that's the Gamera 1995. Godzilla movie monster version from the film Gamera Garden of the Universe and that uh, that's that's one of my favorite films and this is the only Gamera action figure that I have and the very first I've ever had in my life and I've said before that I already started collecting about a year and a half ago and I kind of went overboard and collected a lot more than I should and it's fun though and I'm enjoying it and then there's the 2019 got burning Godzilla NECA figure from the film and this one I, I wanted to do a, a review on for so long but I just keep forgetting and just keep pushing it back and I'm gonna try to get it done as soon as I can and it looks really badass man I mean this is just what you see right here I mean it's a really cool really badass NECA figure NECA hit it out of the ballpark with that figure and the Gamera Bandai movie monster version is also badass and amazing for a Bandai figure it's big hefty and awesome I really dig that one the Gundam I'll get more into detail on that one in its actual review the Skullcrawler of course there's a bunch of reviews and a lot of the content creators that I watch I've already done a review on this figure and it's a really cool figure also for the price especially for the price $9.99 at Walmart so anybody still looking for the skull crawlers go try to cop them at Walmart I mean they're flying off and people are making crazy reviews I mean everybody's doing reviews on these figures and it's insane so 
I don't even know if I'll do a review on that one. That's why I put it in this video because I don't even know if I'm going to do a review on it because everybody's doing reviews. And that's also a cool figure. Basic articulation that you'll expect from Playmates. So yeah, I mean, they're all cool, man. They're all really great figures that I added to my collection. It's an investment, so I really enjoy them. Bandai, Tomashi Nations, the Playmates are surprisingly good. And hopefully they'll get better. And NECA, what can you say about NECA? I mean, it just sucks that NECA lost the license to Godzilla, but what can you do about it? What can we do about it? You know, pretty sure they'll get it back maybe 2021 or 2022. More likely 2022. But, um, yeah, and then the two films in the back, those are going to be probably the main focus so far. And, like I said, I'm going to do um, the special request for Alyssa Celeste. And she loves this movie. She really enjoys it. Surprisingly so. It's a it's a amazing movie that just came out of nowhere. Wasn't even supposed to be released, and they released it. And rest in peace, Brandon Lee. Rest in peace, Sifu Bruce Lee. You know, I'm gonna really enjoy doing the review on that one. And as far as uh, anime goes, I'm still working on doing reviews also for the Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans season one and season two. That one I'm gonna try my best to. I'll try my best to put them in maybe just one or two videos because I mean the seasons are it's two seasons so it's gonna be pretty long to try to mash all of that up into one five minute six minute seven minute video and you know you guys know I like to do my videos I like to keep them very short and um, I like to do them in sets and do them in in, um, in pieces so there you guys have it I just wanted to do this quick video show off some of the stuff that I'll be um, making content on and um, I'm excited to get started on it and as far as um, more anime I'm gonna try to look into Sailor Moon for Celeste's daughter Sasha so Sasha if you're watching I'm gonna try to see if I can get anything on Sailor Moon and see if I can do a review on it and I mean I haven't seen Sailor Moon in forever and I mean that's old school anime and <laughs> I don't have any content, surprisingly, I don't have any content on it, not even no figures, no DVDs, no movies, so thank you guys for watching, and this is Daniel, the Sci-Fi Century, always coming at you raw, always coming at you real, hope you guys have the rest of a good Saturday, so I'm out.